You're on? Lovely. Yeah. Well, here we go. Here's your lovely new caravan. So, already talking to you, I know you said you've experienced caravan, but do you want yeah. me to talk about sighting and levelling when you got to a site, or are you quite straight happy? And, straight from basics, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, so, if you ignore sort of everything I've got here, imagine you're on the car now, and you've backed up and you've got it into your space. Yeah. Sorry, there's a compressor at the back for the two workshops either side, so apologies, there may be the odd interruption, but I will stop talking yeah. when it goes no off worries. to see you here. So, you still get it on the car now, when you've got it onto your pitch, nine out of ten pitches will be level, but you may find the odd one that it's not. So when I say level, I mean left to right. So if you get it on the side, and you're on the lane, left to right, the way to level it off is some wood underneath one of the side yeah. of the wheels to raise it up. Yeah. Now the easy thing I tend to carry the, the little small spirit levels, you can just use one of them, just pop it on the inside of the door, even just on the floor, just to give you a rough, just to get yeah, of how you can get it. So, okay. left to right first underneath the wheels. Then once you've got it on, obviously handbrake on, take it off the vehicle. It's the jockey wheel on the front, yeah. which you can raise and lower the nose, so you can obviously get it level um, back to back front then. Yeah. So, left to right underneath the wheels, front to back off the jockey wheel on the front. Right. Then once you've got all four level, yeah. or your level, sorry, front to back, left to right, you can then put all four of your legs down. The main misconception with caravans, a lot of people think that the legs are there to raise the caravan up, they're not, they're there for stability. Yeah. So always level it, left to right under the wheels, front to back off your jockey wheel. And then finally, wind your legs down. Now you may think, why do I need to level it? Well wait until you fry an egg in the frying pan, and yeah. all your eggs are sleeping down in the one side. And believe me, after a week of standing sideways, you will notice it on your body. So it's more for your comfort level of it being left to right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll move on to the very front end, so we've got your stabiliser hitch on the yeah. front. As you've already said, so it needs to be a grease free and a paint free type. Underneath it then, you've got your main hitch, yeah. your breakaway cable. Yeah. Handbrake on this unit is just handbrake off, handbrake on. No buttons. It's as simple yeah. as that, no buttons or anything to press. Jockey wheel obviously winds up and down, raises and lowers off the, off the unit here. Then we've got 13 pin for your lights and your electrics. Yeah. And last but not least is the ATC. So you've got the automatic stability control yeah. on the van. How the ATC works, it senses if you're getting a bit of a snake on and what it does, it automatically applies the brakes on the caravan to stabilise yeah. it for you. So when you're in the car, all you'll feel is a slight tug from the van behind and it's the caravan applying its own brakes to stabilise a wobble. Yeah. So it's really good for on the motorway as such if a big wagon or something comes past you, it does tend to give you a bit of a snake on. Back in the old days the caravan would be off, but now it doesn't, it, it breaks the caravan for you and restabilises it for you. Now, with the whole front end here, it'll make a lot more sense when I hook it up to the car yeah, afterwards. Right. It's easy enough to talk about it, but it's, it's easier for me to show you when I demonstrate I'll hook it yeah. on for you. With the ATC as well, I'll talk to you about the light sequences. It always starts off a red light, and then it'll either go to flashing green or green solid. Yeah. Now, green solid light, it's just a little LED yeah, there. So green yeah. solid light means you're good to go. Green flashing means the system's still setting itself. Right. So what you'll find is, imagine if you've hooked it up here, by the time we say get down by where our tractor is, get out and have a look and you'll see it's gone to solid green yeah. and it just means the system's still setting itself. Yeah. Now, I will tell you about red lights, if you're ever plugging it in and you, the red light's not clearing, first thing to do is unplug it from the car, leave it a few seconds and plug it back in again. Okay. Same as anything electrical nowadays, yeah. switch it off, switch it back on. If you've tried that a few times and it's not clearing, next thing you can try is leave it plugged into the car but uncouple it and just see if the brakes are engaged in the caravan. Yeah. If the brakes aren't in engaged, you're safe to tow, it just means your ATC system isn't working. Yeah. But then on the other side of it, if you're going to move the van and the brakes are locked on, it's a definite no tow. Yeah. But as I say, we give all my customers that knowledge about red lights, but I've never come across one person that's ever any problems with it. Right. But we right. like to give everyone that knowledge just in case you do ever yeah. come across the red light, so you know not to be overly alar alarmed and there's a few checks so you can simple checks just to see if you can. Right. Happy with everything so yeah, far on the front? Great. Yeah, perfect. So I'll move into your gas locker on the front. So I have got bits and bobs for you to put on, but as we were setting it up, we didn't have it here, so I've just put my demonstration bottle on here, but at the end of it, I will fit your appliances on yeah, so it'll great. be ready to go for you. So obviously gas bottle on and off just from the bottle. From this way off. You can if see. you see, yeah. there is an open close on the bottle. So all you need to do is just make sure you open the bottle all the way up. When you're finished with the van or you're traveling, just make sure that you've closed the bottle down. Yeah. Okay. Great. You've got a regulator on the back. 
There is a gas shut off valve here, okay. but that's more for when the guys are safety checking your van. Really, for your gas on and off, is just simply switch your bottles yeah. on and off. Okay. And then your gas bottle is just, you'll just need a gas spanner. And yeah. all you simply do is just opposite thread, screw it on to tighten it up and just hand tight it, make sure yeah. it's nice and tight on the bottle. Okay. okay. Brilliant. Then we've got your toilet chemicals are in the front there for you, which are the blue and the pink. I'll show you that round the corner when we get to it. The grey waste pipes are just on this side, if you can see them down there. Yep. So with the Y, two ends go in the van, other ends inside your waste master. Yep. And then we've also got your power cable in the front there as well for Super. you. That's okay. Great. Yep. Then on here, obviously I was kneeling on your step, so there's your step. Your vehicle mirrors as well, yep. which are law now. But again, yep. once we're finished, I will hook them onto the car yep. for you. Great. Then obviously we've got your waste master and your Aperol as well. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay? Great stuff. Lovely. Happy with everything on the front end? All good, yeah. That's yeah? Super. Lovely. Yeah. So, you start yeah. so, first one I'll do, your legs. So your front legs on the caravan are both on the side. Yeah. So this one's on this side, obviously the other's on the opposite. Yeah. All you do is just pop your leg winder on there and just simply wind them down. Now we cheat and use a drill. Yeah. You can get an attachment for a 12 volt drill or you can manually do just it. Do it by hand, yeah. All you do when you get to the floor is just give it a couple more turns just to make sure it's nice and uh, nice and stable on the floor. Right. Okay, next one down. This is your water inlet now. So it's as simple as a little trigger on the bottom. All you do is hold the trigger and gently give it a little wiggle and out she'll pop. Yep. And that's it. And on the end, <coughs> excuse me. That's got your pump on there. Is your, your filter on the end. filter, yeah. Right. It's an onboard water pump inside Brilliant. here, so all yeah. this is is just literally your water in there. And all it simply does is just push on until it clicks. Brilliant. Okay. And then obviously your cap just goes over your aqua roll and just brilliant. stops any bugs or anything crawling in. Yeah. Super. Next one down. Now this is your vent for your hot water boiler. So your hot water boiler will run on gas, electric, or gas and electric at the same time. Yeah. Anything to do with gas, you need to remove this cover. Yeah. Okay. If you don't need it, all you do is on the top. Pop it on. Okay, so any, okay. anything with gas. Anything gas, off. you need to remove it. But if you just but on electric, electric, it's perfectly fine. So Brilliant. to remove it, all you do is just push it down and just gently pull it out from the bottom. Great. And off it comes. Yeah. Okay. Super. So if you're ever lighting it on gas, I'll show you inside where the red light is. Nine out of ten times, if you're getting the red light, it's because you've left the you cover on. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So we'll move on down. That's nice, isn't it? We've then got your 240. So this is your mains electrical hookup. Yeah. Okay. Then at the top. We've got an exterior, external satellite feed. Ooh. So it can either be satellite or TV. Right. To turn it into a TV, all you need is the little screw attachment that goes into it that changes it from a satellite to a TV aerial. Yeah. So what that's for is if you've got a TV or a satellite feed on your post at the site where you are, you can run a cable from this post uh, into we... here, and I'll show you where it comes out inside the fan. Yeah. So where back in the olden days, you'd have a cable going up through your window. Yeah. They've moved on from that now, so you can have a, a so, cable there. So that would be if you were joining up to a, a feed on site, whereas you'd be using your built-in aerial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so Brilliant. if you're in the deepest, darkest Wales, TV signal isn't the best, but they may have a huge TV mass there for you that you can plug into, so you can use that one instead. <laughs> so you don't have to be with TV, but that's yeah. not a guarantee. Get, still get a telly toast. <laughs> Maybe. And then next one down, we've obviously got your leisure battery. I have already fitted it in for Lovely. you. So you've got a brand new 105 amp yeah. leisure battery in there for you. So that's the you. bigger one for the motor mover yeah, system. Yeah, that's the bigger it? one for yeah, the brilliant. motor mover. Yeah. Are you happy how the 240 and the 12 volt system works in the van? Um, on the switchovers? Well, just, or... just in general. So what it yeah. is, is mostly everything inside the van runs off the 12 volt system. Yeah. Apart from things like your plug sockets and obviously like the electric for the fire and things, yeah. that will only okay. roll off the 2 So there's a transformer and built inside. Yeah, what it does is the mains recharges back yeah. up this battery. So even though your light systems and everything are running off this battery, yeah. what the mains is doing is topping up this ah, battery. Okay. So it gives you a constant cycle of power. Yeah. So this battery, when you're plugged into the mains, this battery will never run flat. Right. It's only if you're not running on mains, so you're in a field in the middle of nowhere, yeah. you'll have to watch what electric you're using, because yeah. once you've flattened this battery, if you've got no power to plug in, that's it, your, yeah, your battery's flat. Great. So I've not, I've not realised that. So basically, when, when you're plugged in on the mains, that's yeah. actually charging your battery, and you're yeah. drawing off your battery. Yeah. yeah. Great, that's super. Okay. And then obviously when you're on a site, you can have yours nicely closed up. There is a couple of little different cutouts, so you can have it closed. Yeah. We only leave it open for demonstration. Yeah. Obviously you want it closed up, because the batteries are a pretty penny each, so you don't want to come back <laughs> and someone's uh, half inch your battery. Yeah. So, moving on down, got your motor mover there. I'll show you your motor mover afterwards, once I've done yeah. the inside demonstration. Next one down, obviously where my lovely yellow bucket is, is where your waste master will go. 
So your waste master just goes underneath the van. You've yeah. then got obviously your two grey pipes that go on there and then the single end into your waste master. Yeah. What you'll find is your acro holds 40 litres. The waste master will hold about 50 litres. So nine out of 10 times, if you've run out of fresh water, it's time to empty your waste master as well. Yeah. So you'll find you'll be going off to the tap, A, to fill up your water and B, to drain you. So that, that'll be shower, sink, wash and basin. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's super. it. That's all that's through that one. Yeah. So here, bear with me. Let me just grab the keys so I'll open that one up for you. I'm glad we had that done and finished them. My hand is aching. You can press stop and then start again when he comes around. Pause it. Up.